Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel. Please leave your thumbs up and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel, allowing me to do this. I really do appreciate you. Thank you so much. Bitcoin, WhatsApp, any type of cryptocurrency that you may see in my comment section with my picture and a variation of my name, please know that that is not me. That is a scammer. I would never lead you to that garbage. So please do not fall for it. I hope you had a good Sunday and I hope you got to spend some time with your friends and family. Uh, and I hope you have a good Monday morning. Y'all, it's a big announcement on the $2 trillion stimulus bill update and the voting this week and the, the pos prospects of having a second uh, reconciliation bill. Uh, I'm going to get into that. So, okay, first of all, on the voting this week, okay, you know they did set a uh, deadline. Uh, but we all know that the deadline to get this done means absolutely nothing. Uh, but the deadline that they set is October the 31st. So that's just a little bit more than a week away. So they need to get moving if in fact they care about reaching this deadline that they've set. They are negotiate, negotiating on what to leave in the bill and what's to take out. Joe Biden is pushing very hard for the lawmakers to get this done now. Jayapal uh, said that all the things that we've heard that's going to be cut out of this bill, she said that she don't believe that the stuff will be cut out. She said she thinks the stuff will remain. It's just that when they get to the negotiation on these things, they may have to shorten the, ex the extension of these items. And then they can come back later and get them again. We just have to see what happens on that. But uh, like on the child tax credit, they're gonna have to shorten the length of time. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens on that. Okay, I know I'm going to get this name wrong, but Geigo said uh, that he agrees with all of this that Jayapal is saying. What she is saying in public, he says, is the same thing that they're fighting for in private meetings. So most politicians, they'll say, one thing for the public and say another thing in the meeting he's saying that she is on the up and up what she's saying in public is the same thing they're talking about in private he also said that he knows the people that they know the people are hurting even before the pandemic people was hurting now they're in a much deeper hole and he said that we need to pass this bill to lift these people up He said they will get this done by compromising. He said it's very possible to get the American people into a good place, but they do have to work on it. He said we may have to get these things passed, but shorten the number of years that they're extended for and make it for a more targeted group of people. He said, we, we do have the ability to change people's lives for the better. So things like the child tax credit, you know, they're going to just have to shorten the length of time uh, because it looks like they are going to come back with another Reconciliation Act and they can get more then. Y'all, these things that they're talking about cutting these things are going to have to be done to bring that top line number down i don't see the 3.5 trillion dollar bill getting passed uh it's going to have to come down to around two trillion dollars because right now i don't think there's no way in hell this 3.5 trillion bill is going to be passed so the the two trillion is our only hope to get it passed 
Geigo, I know I'm getting that name wrong. I'm sorry, y'all. Said that he thinks it is very good chance to come back with another reconciliation act and get more help for the people. He also talked about free community college. He thinks the best way to handle this is to have more Pell Grants available to pay for college. And y'all know grants, you don't pay those back. It's not a loan. So if you get a grant to go to college, that's about the same thing as free tuition. So I think that's a good idea because you're going to have to apply for a grant before if it was free college tuition. I mean, and everybody could do that. Now you have to qualify for it. I think that's a good idea. So with all these things, let's get the $2 trillion bill passed now. At least if we get $2 trillion bill passed now, we're moving forward. Because right now we're not moving at all. We need to get this passed now and then hold them accountable. Hold them to that second Reconciliation Act around the midterms. Okay, now, people's going to be saying that we're going to, if we're going to wait until the midterm, we're just waiting more time. Uh, I don't believe that's the case. I don't believe it's going to take more time if we wait until the midterms. And hear me out on this, because, you know, we always thought that it would be around the midterm before we get any help anyway. Now they're telling us it will be around the midterms and we have to hold them accountable for it. Sort of like Pelosi holding the first infrastructure bill hostage. We need to hold their political career hostage. We need to vote them out if they don't get something done by the midterms. Right after the midterms, it's too late. We need to vote them out if it's not done by the midterms. I don't think this is going to take any longer because we all expected the midterm to be around the time we was going to get the help anyway. And at, in the end, if we do this with the second reconciliation bill, I believe the American people will end up getting more help than what they would with this 3.5. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, y'all, in California, gas prices are hitting $7.49 a gallon. And Joe Biden openly said he don't know what will bring the prices down. He guessed that they would be coming down around next year. Really? He don't know? And he guessed? Biden, it's your job to know. Why don't you know? Here's an idea for you. You were so fast to close the Keystone Pipeline. Everybody's telling you to reopen it, but you won't do it. You need to reopen that Keystone Pipeline. Then we can do our share of ending the shortage of oil for the world. That way the prices will be coming down. And at the same time, guess what, Joe? You'll be putting our oil workers back to work that you made them lose their job. Joe Biden, this problem with the oil and gas prices is 100% your fault for closing the Keystone Pipeline. It's time to reopen it, Joe. On the border, Joe Biden says that he's been to the border and he knows the area very well. And he said he guess he should go down there, but he has not had a whole hell of a lot of time to go down there. But y'all, they've done some digging. There is no record of him ever being at the border as a public citizen, as a president, or any elected official. He has not been down to the border at all in his lifetime. 
So he either openly lied again or in his state of mind, he just don't know where he's been. Y'all, I think we all can agree the border problem is a disaster. And anytime we are faced with a disaster, the acting president always makes time to go to the area. Again, Joe Biden, you keep going home on the weekends because you can't sleep in Washington. Why don't you divert one of those trips and go down to the wall? Wake up, little Joe, and do your job. It's past time for you to do your job. Get up, eat your cornflakes, and go to work. Y'all, I love you all. Thank you so much again for all the support that you give me. If you want your comments put on the We the People website, please start it by saying We the People. We will take your comment over there for you. Also, check out the We the People website. We blog over there once or twice a week, and we're free to say more than we can here on YouTube. Also, check out the We the People Facebook group. Both links to the group and to the website is in the description box below this video. Y'all, please keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will see us through this, and we'll be better on the other side for it. Say a prayer for our world, say a prayer for our country, say a prayer for our leaders. Even though you may not like them, even though they're not leading anything, prayers can turn that around. Say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. And just know I love you all. Until next time, ciao.